STS Ron Cohn in at computers.com. Otro video para ti hoy. Looking down at a cafeteria style glass below me as above. So below, but I'm not into that lunacy. Okay. A reader of one of my blog posts pertaining to a Facebook comments plugin developed by WP DevArt. She wanted to know how to actually <laughs> moderate the comments. I'm not laughing at her question. It's just, it's, it's confusing. And you can't really complain because it's a free plugin, although they do have a pro version. I'm not aware. I don't even know if Facebook allows you with their application program interface. I don't know if they allow you to actually develop a plugin where in the back end of WordPress you could moderate Facebook comments. So what you can do is you can add a plugin to your WordPress website that will allow anybody with a Facebook account to comment on your blog post, which is what I use. Here's her question. Hi, I installed this plugin and it shows on my website, but only by accident going through my post did I see a comment. How do I see notifications of comments? Is it on the back end of WordPress? or somewhere else because without checking every post manually I can't see where I would see comments so basically there are two ways to moderate your Facebook comments and you can certainly read my blog post at anacompares.com where I go through the whole process and I go through all the options and I show you how to actually moderate your Facebook comments there's basically two ways that I know of I don't know of a way through you know like the dashboard of your of a WordPress website so here's one way. One way is to open up a page or post. Now Facebook comments plugin will work on the home page, any other page, and also posts. So what you would do is you would open up a post. Well that's not that's not a post. Let me see where I know I linked to my own website. There. Oh that's right, it was a post. So open up a, now this is if you installed this plugin. It's the Facebook Comments plugin by WP Dev Art. It's an excellent plugin, never had a problem. Then you scroll down to the bottom of your, this is her post right there, but you know, I try to keep people, just because you post on the internet with your Facebook account. And then, but some people might not like it if you screen capture it. So, so at the bottom of every page and blog post, there is a box where you can leave a comment. Then you will notice the moderation tool. So you would click on that, and then it takes you to the Facebook tools and support. However, it's only for that specific uniform resource locator, also known as URL, also known as web link. You cannot moderate any other comments here. And there's review, that's if you had a comment that you needed to review on that specific page or blog post. If you click on public, it will show you posts that were already approved. The hidden is where you hide posts. There's, I don't think there's a way necessarily to delete. They just get hidden, like spam or somebody cusses at you or just you don't approve their comment. Flagged is when other Facebook users flags comments. And that's it. Now, if you hit on this link, it would take you back to the main page. But you see how much of a waste of time that would be? I mean, you would literally have to sit. Th I have 600 blog posts now, over 600 blog posts. I have four blogs. I have my technology in at computers.com blog. I have an activist blog that I'm not going to tell you the domain for. I have a sports blog now that I just created. And then I have a vegan blog. I'm a vegan. I'm a raw food vegan. I don't eat animal meat. I don't consume dairy products. I don't even drink coffee or soda or any of that. So I have four blogs that I maintain. So can you imagine having to go to each blog post and sit there, oh, well, gee, has anybody commented yet? So that's one way, but that is one way. Maybe you have a website that doesn't have that many blogs or a, web, a WordPress website with just 10 or 20 pages or 
just a few blog posts, but you're getting traffic and you know you want to moderate your comments. Another way is to go to Facebook's developers tools and support page and I link to it in my blog post. So you can read my blog post because I linked to directly to the Facebook comment moderation tool. So you could bookmark this. I recommend that you bookmark this. And then you want to scroll down and you want to choose the comments moderation tool. So you just click on that. And then here's your queue. Now, as you can see, I have a drop down. That tells me that I have more than one application. Now, caveat emptor. This plugin that she is asking about, and it sounds like she was able to get it installed using my instructions, and so that's great. It's a free plugin, it works great. Now, they do have a pro version too. Is that you have to create an, a Facebook application in order to use this plugin? That requires you to have a Facebook developer's account. If you do not have a Facebook developer's account, or you don't know what that means, or you've never heard that, Unless you're going to be installing this plugin, you probably don't need to know that and you would already be moving on. But if you're interested in this Facebook comments plugin by WP DevArt, then you're going to need a Facebook developer's account in order to create an application. And in my blog post that I wrote myself, I gave instructions showing you how to create a developer's application if you don't have one. Some people might not have a developer's account and they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. An application, what are you talking about? A Facebook app, what are you talking about? You can create your own Facebook app. You must be, you know, what's wrong with you? Facebook gives you developers access to their application program interface. It's limited, but you, you'd be surprised what you can access. So for this plugin, you have to create an app. So I have multiple apps because I have four blogs that I maintain. That's a way I make money. So you would hit that. Now, if you only have one app, you would probably not see the drop down or maybe the drop down would exist, but there would only be one choice. If you have multiple websites or you're, you want the app that you created. So I'm going to scroll down and pick ANET computers. Then, then you notice there's five different tabs. The first tab is the review tab. If I had any outstanding Facebook comments that I had not moderated yet, here I need to screen capture. Let's 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 try that again. So tools and support, which this link is in my blog post, or you can go to developers.facebook.com/tools-and-support, and I highly recommend that you bookmark this. And then you also have to obviously get be a, logged in. You have to have a Facebook account to get past this. Now you can get to this link, but once you choose any of these tools, then there is going to ask you to log into Facebook. So click on comments moderation tool and you notice that up here there's if you only have one app, then I doubt there's a drop down. Then you would already have the app would already be chosen for you. I have four blogs I maintain. So I'm going to click in at computers and this is going to pick the ANET computers app that is required to use this plugin. There's five tabs. The first tab review would be any outstanding blog post that I had not moderated. I don't have any. If you if you have comments that you need to moderate, they will show up in the first tab and the first tab is always selected, which is a good thing. Public are all the posts that you already approved. So these are all comments that I approved as a moderator and if you click load next 100 that shows you more comments hidden are the comments that you flag as as it's in my blog post it's been a while since I've gotten spam oh report spam you can approve hide or report spam those comments show up under Those comments show up under hidden. Flagged are from other Facebook users. They can flag your comments. My queue is only if you have other moderators and then you can select which comments that you want to moderate. 
So you could have multiple moderators on a busy blog or on a busy website. And you could have multiple moderators and you could assign yourself, you know, like 10 posts or 100 comments that you need to moderate. And then, then you can select whatever, 10, 20, 100, and assign those to somebody else. This would be your queue. I'm the only person. I'm a one-person operation. I run my own computer repair shop, if you want to call it that. It's just a small office. And I also make money, affiliate marketing, blogging. I have four blogs. And my internetcomputers.com blog, is. I'm starting to make more money with this. And I started a sports blog because I like sports, although I think it's a distraction. I don't watch that much sports. But back in the day when I was young, I used to watch all just every sporting event. It was absurd. So I don't want to digress about that. So I have four other blogs. I make a little bit of money off the other two well, really, another one, but again, it's content, content, content. Got to create content. So I was like, well, you know, a sports blog, Why? I don't see why I couldn't make some money doing that. Anyways, so then click on settings. But Facebook is excellent for your blog, and I was happy to stumble upon this plugin. Now, I tried to find a plugin before. I, I, I debated between either Twitter, comments, or Facebook, and then I was like, well, I, I noticed a, a fa I study I study affiliate marketing I study how to build websites what plugins what good plugins you know the reviews and but I also as I'm studying on how to develop websites I I view other people's websites and I'm like wow I like that plugin oh it's a Facebook comments plugin well who is it who you know is it free who made it so I might. I couldn't find a, spa a Facebook comment plugin until I found this one. I don't like plugins that you have to sign up to their website and get a key and all that crap. This one, you just you are using Facebook's developers' ad application programming interface, and it's excellent. No problem. I don't think it slows down my website. This is an excellent plugin. It, very good for a blog. It's good. It's good to allow comments. The built-in. WordPress comment system to me is WordPress is free so complaining about services that are free it's just it's not it doesn't cut it it's very they're very little security you, you get a lot of spam it's limited some people prefer over installing a plugin but then you have to install a spam plugin like what is it a Askamet or Asamet or whatever that's called well I hope that doesn't, I wasn't cussing. I hope that, you never know with YouTube's ridiculous, anyways. So, settings. You can sort comments by top, newest, oldest, enable attachments, which allows people to, you know, attach a photo. You can enable fortifications. This is very, this could be very productive for this person that asked me this question, this lady. Is that when you enable notifications, you'll get an email. Now that's technically not the third way to moderate. It just you get notified that there's a comment waiting. So that could save you time because having to sit there and view every blog post and and then click on the moderation tool on each URL all oh, you know what I'm saying? I've got 600 over 600 blog posts on this blog. My activist blog, I've got I think 3 or 400. My vegan blog under a hundred, my sports blogs. I I just started, so I only I have less than ten. So you will receive an email if there's a comment that you need to moderate. That could save you a lot of time. And then in the email, they link you directly to the URL, and then you would click on the the moderation tool hyperlink. So maybe that's another way that you could you know save you time. Now you can mirror if you say, oops. Something's not right here. Something happened here. Why did, why, when I went into settings, it should have, it should show the settings to mirror to, anyways, that's not wrong, that's not right. It should show the mirror. The mirror option is to mirror. The comments will mirror themselves on, a, on your Facebook page. If you have a Facebook page, Every time you moderate a comment on your blog, guess what? It gets mirrored to your Facebook page, which is another way if you 
understand search engine optimization, it's another way to get traffic and another way for people to view. Because here's what I do. I have a Facebook plugin. My blog is pretty well automated. Whenever I write a blog, I it automatically tweets it and automatically posts it on Facebook. And with the Facebook mod mirroring option, then on the Facebook post, the comment will show up by you just checking that off under settings. Moderation rules, I don't mess with any of this. Auto close comment threads, uh, more spam filtering. So far I haven't had a problem with spam in a while. I did initially when I first installed this plugin. I was receiving a lot of spam, but I haven't received spam in months. Now moderation, public. All comments will be public. So as soon as you moderate and as soon as you approve them, they all become public. And then that means that People that are not logged into their Facebook can view them, but they would have to log in to their Facebook account in order to reply to the comments. But that's public. Anybody can read them. Now, you can, there's different options here. All comments will be hidden and then review blacklisted comments. Mine is just set to public, but I approve them. Moderators, here's where you would add moderators. If you have a bigger website and you need multiple moderators to moderate your comments, blacklist, you can type, add words that will make the comments hidden you know what I'm saying and then banned users anybody that you banned I banned two people because they were spammers and then that's under the settings so there hopefully this video was productive I should have probably included this information in my first blog post showing people how to install the plugin but you know what I'm saying? But then it made me have to make another video or, well, not have to. It gave me another video to make. And I search engine optimize as much as I can. So Facebook comments plugin. Let me pull up the original blog post. Face no, that's not the right one. No. Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. There it is. So how to moderate Facebook comments in WordPress using the Facebook comments WordPress plugin by WP Devart. Adios.